Dear North York General Hospital, my name is Susan. Early on January 9th, I was heading down to Toronto planning to surprise my mom and dad. Mom's the sole caregiver for my dad, who suffers from Alzheimer's. I was really concerned about them both. Dad is reaching the later stages of Alzheimer's and it's getting too much for mom to handle alone. I reached my parents' home and no one was there. After several frantic phone calls, I determined dad had been taken by ambulance to North York General. He had fallen out of bed and mom had been unable to get him up. My name is Jeffrey. On Sunday, November 28th, during one of my regular hockey games, I felt stranger than I ever had. In short order, my wife and I went to the emergency department at North York General Hospital. Arriving at about 11 p.m., I was quickly assessed, and indeed, I was having a heart attack. I was in the acute care area within five minutes, with an ECG quickly following, which confirmed the attack. Over the next seven hours, the team in acute care worked hard to get my heart under control and relieve the pain. I was really impressed by the work of this team, especially the nurses. Thankfully, by 7 a.m., I was stabilized and moved into the ICU later that day. My name is Colin. On Saturday, the 23rd of January, my 12-year-old son fell during a snowboarding session and injured his left wrist. He was apprehensive and in pain when I brought him to the emergency department at North York General Hospital. I was most impressed with the way he was handled from the outset of his stay. The registration clerk and the triage nurse were pleasant, unrushed, and very understanding and made my son feel at ease. We were introduced to Dr. Russell Tanzer, who also proved to be pleasant, professional, and sympathetic towards my son. The staff did their best to make my son comfortable while we waited for the results of the x-ray. I'm Dr. Tim Rutledge, Chief of Emergency Services at North York General Hospital. Like all emergency departments, we are at the front line of patient care. Every hour of every day, our team helps people who suddenly become ill or injured, just like those whose stories we are sharing with you today. At North York General, we're caring for more and more patients as the needs of our community continues to grow. We've struggled to overcome some major challenges. For example, the SARS epidemic was very difficult and in some cases had tragic consequences. We've fought that battle successfully and continue to be on the front lines of disease identification and disease control. Through it all, our work continues 24 hours a day, every day of the year. I arrived at the emergency department and was directed to the cubicle where mom and dad were. My mom looked really scared. Fran Wolf, the geriatric case manager, came to the cubicle and introduced herself. We were immediately enveloped by her warm and engaging personality. She spoke with us about dad's condition and the options available to us. After mom came to the realization she could no longer look after dad, an incredibly difficult decision after 57 years of marriage, Fran seemed to spring into action to find dad a short-term space. The two and a half days following my heart attack, I received great care in the ICU and cardiac units. We were quickly introduced to the cardiac education program. By Friday morning, I was in good enough shape to pass the physical, and Dr. Burke, our cardiologist, released me from the hospital. My son's wrist was immobilized, and he was treated very professionally by a warm staff who empathized with what he was going through. Dr. Tanzer arrived with the news that my son had indeed fractured his wrist and, of course, required immediate treatment. Through all of this, Dr. Tanzer and the staff kept my son's spirits up and reduced or dealt with his apprehension and fears in an exemplary manner. The demands on our department are constant and require that we be ready and committed at all times. I believe that we have one of the best healthcare teams anywhere, a team you can be proud of. We've made great strides with a number of initiatives, with specialized geriatric services, cardiac care, and our newly expanded Charlotte and Lewis Steinberg Emergency Department. We're using the latest technologies, including a new patient tracking system. This patient tracking system does much more than just keep track of where our patients are. It also helps us to decrease our waiting times and improve patient satisfaction. Your past support has made a real difference in this department. To continue to meet our challenges head on, we need the best trained staff, the latest equipment, and optimal physical space. In the middle of a very difficult, emotionally charged time, Fran provided a friendly, calm, compassionate presence. In a society which often warehouses the elderly or infirm or makes them invisible, Fran made us feel like we were valued and it was paramount that she provide a feasible solution for us. I can only wish that everyone who has to deal with some of life's tough transitions has the good fortune to meet her and her team.
Our experience with the emergency department at North York General Hospital was terrific, and it gives me as a citizen great comfort to know that fellow Torontonians have an opportunity to receive excellent care at North York General. I believe that I was especially sensitive to the overall emergency room experience at North York General as I am both a parent and a doctor, a pediatrician who has been in practice for over 20 years. It's reassuring to know that such a dedicated facility exists in the community. These three individuals who have just shared their stories with us are among the tens of thousands of individuals who cross our threshold every year. As valued donors, you understand that to fulfill our mandate to provide the kind of care that Susan, Jeffrey, and Colin refer to, we require funding that is more important now than ever before. Government funding just does not stretch far enough to meet our need for the latest technology to provide the best care for our patients. We need your support today to ensure that we are able to address our growing care needs and to keep the emergency department open to all of those in the community who need our help. Your gift will mean that you will be a part of future stories and a vital part of the positive outcomes that will be created by this energetic, committed team of professionals. We are here to stand by you, but we really do need your support.